If you didn't see it, yesterday I made a video that was all about titles and speed and that sort of thing. And it's very clean, very sharp, very easy and quick to make. So I'm gonna show you how I made it and how you can make it. Now the beauty of making something like that is you don't have to go out and shoot, which some of you will hate, some of you will love. I actually love shooting, but this was really nice just to be able to sit at my desk and just create something having not had anything at all. So I knew from the get go that I wanted a nice fast drum beat. So the first thing I did was go and find my music track. I'll put a link below to where I get all my music for YouTube, worth checking out if you're a YouTuber. And once I found that, I was good to go. So once you put your music track in, what do you do then? Choose your color palette. I wanted something kind of blue or yellow, wasn't sure which, so I started with blue. I made a new color map, put it in, and there's my background. Step one and two done, real quick. Now if you're gonna do something like this, you need a font that is legible, clear. You wanna choose the font that is gonna work very well for you and for someone to read it quickly. You don't want like typography, you want clear, bold, separated letters. So once you've chosen your font, create that one title that is gonna be how you want every word to appear. So you're gonna get it the right size, you're gonna get it the right framing. You wanna make sure that it's centered a line as well as placed in the center, otherwise it won't be quite central. You've gotta watch out for that one. And then once you've got that, all you have to do for the rest of the video is duplicate it. Just hold Alt, drag and copy, and there you go. So now you've got your formula of how you're gonna do it. It's up to you to figure out the speed and how you want it to appear in what time. I wanted to try and push it to go as fast as I could, which is why some of them are like only a couple of frames long, if that. But stretch it out to what you feel is appropriate and just think about how quick you can actually do it because in Premiere it's gonna lag a little bit, it's gonna be a little bit hard. You won't be able to really know until you export it, but once you export it, have a little look, get an idea, and then get back in the edit and keep going. A few little tips that I learned going along, if you have a gap between words that are a split second long, it actually trips you out a little bit. So I recommend just have a constant stream of words and if you are gonna have a break, have a very clear long break as I did when I went to the yellow screen. I would also say only use one word at a time. I mean, occasionally I did put two, but when I did, I gave a little bit longer on the screen. So put one word at a time, it makes it very easy for the mind to follow. Put more than one, you're gonna struggle. When I did the sections where I had one word staying still and the other words moving, at that point, you do want to center align it to the left, otherwise it will do that. This one will stay whilst the second word shifts on its own. That's how you want to do that one. If you want to scale up your footage, do it in the central graphics page. Don't do it on the effects control on the left, because I think that lowered the resolution of the text a bit. So if you do it in essential graphics, it keeps it nice and clean and sharp, no matter how big you make it. And the last thing is make sure you're syncing it up to the beat. Zoom in, check out that waveform, and get it on the beat. I think I might do another edit tutorial tomorrow because I enjoyed that. But if you want something a bit more hands-on, then wait two days and something else will come out. Who knows? Who knows what's coming? All right, guys. See you tomorrow.